Hi. Uh, what I'm about to read to you is a, a thing I call um, questioning an Anwar Alalaki fan or so, uh, supporter. Uh, I've discovered on the internet that uh, Anwar Alalaki, uh, the guy who was uh, recently killed by uh, Predator Joe Missile is very, very popular in the religion of peace. Uh, he's got a lot of supporters, big time. You know? Uh, and I made a video telling about what I thought about Anwar. And in the response, in, in the video, I got some responses. And I thought, well, you know something? I found this one guy, Muslim, who is a real uh, supporter of Anwar, and um, a Muslim, and not stupid. It's not stupid. And I thought, well, you know something? I have this lot of dialogue. It goes on for like two hours if I read it. But I thought, you know, that could make a pretty good series to... Um, Uh, let people know about Islam and what better way than to question one of these terrorist supporters so I thought I would uh, make some videos and I'll use this side for my face because it's usually what I usually do and I'll use uh, this side for the Muslim for the Anwar guy so I'll do that right now okay it starts off here <coughs> At 7.28, I'll try to stop at uh, probably about uh, 7.38. Okay. All right. Please watch all the, the videos, the short videos I have posted below. I can't promise that I'll see them all. Can't promise that I'll see them. I watched one of your videos and decided to write a proper response, giving you a Muslim perspective on Anwar Alalaki, uh, An Anwar Alaki, and Islam generally, because I liked your openness and willingness to learn and seek the truth. Well, thanks. Before you start reading, before you start reading, I would like you to watch all this short video of a recitation of Quranic verses so that you have a basic understanding. And also, whilst watching, you can judge for yourself whether this book is really a book from God. You know, I haven't seen the videos yet, but he goes on. Firstly, I want, I just wanted to clear some things up about Islam. I saw in your video that you were claiming that there were Errors in the Quran. As Muslims, we believe that the books of God has to have no errors in it. Otherwise, it cannot be the book of God. One of the things, for example, I can remember was that you said, quote, The son asks permission from God to rise. Well, I, that's not, I didn't say that was from the Quran. I said that was from the Hadith. Um, the, 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 you said, quote, that the one thing sample is uh, the son asked permission to rise, uh, asked permission from God to rise. Um, we believe that everything that happens in the universe happens with the decree of God. Even though we know the son can't physically speak, what the verse is basically saying is that even the great powerful son won't rise if God doesn't want it to because God has the power to do all things. Right. But shouldn't it be the earth that is constantly asking permission to keep on rotating to only make it look like the sun is rising? Uh, if you... Just a second here. If you have any queries, please put them forward to me, and I'll give you the context and meaning of the verses. 
Good. Secondly, what you said about the Torah and Injil is very true and we also believe that these books were revealed to Moses and Jesus. However, the Torah and the Injil we have today are not the books given to Moses and Jesus as they have been changed over time. That is, the Christians claim Jesus is the Son of God when the Quran, when the Quran clearly states He, Allah, begets not, nor has He begotten. Then who is the Father of Jesus? And the unreliability of these books is evident, is evident by the contradictions within them and the many different versions of these books are uh, of the books and this makes these books unreliable to use as a perfect source of guidance if what you say is true when do you think they became corrupted so one shouldn't obey Quran 568 about standing firm upon them and for you to come to me for my reading them if you're in doubt about the Quran like Quran 1094 says for a Muslim to do here's a link to some powerful Quranic verses about what Allah says about those who claim Jesus is the son let me give some video which I haven't seen yet we believe that the Quran is the final, total, totally complete book of God without any mistakes, changes or contradictions. And Allah says in the Quran, quote, If it, that is the Quran, had been from someone other than God, they would have found much contradiction in it. Okay, to just have a little contradiction in it? True? This is backed up by the fact that there are only there, there's only one version of it and also by the way God has promised to protect it Allah learned how to protect the Quran but not those the Quran says the Quran confirms and reminds true Allah also says, quote, He, Allah, it is He, it is who has sent His Messenger, Muhammad, with guidance and religion of truth, Islam, that He may make it Islam, superior over all religions, and all sufficient is Allah as a witness. Oh, I'm sure it says that. We also believe that all the messengers were Muslim because the definition of Muslim is someone who submits to the will of the one and only God. We believe that all the messengers came down with the same message that there's only one God. However, the people who, allow, who followed after them changed the message. Are you saying all his words can be changed and altered? Oh, but that's only that's only for the Quran to not be changed and altered, right? And they and strayed from the straight path. These people, they strayed from the straight path, as was the case with Judaism and Christianity. Because all only made it appear that Jesus went to the cross, right? And then Islam was sent down with complete unchanged guidance. That is the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is, is example. Okay, on the topic of Anwar al-Waki the Jihad, uh, 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 on the topic of Anwar al-Waki and Jihad, it seems that you have some misconceptions. Really? Firstly, Jihad means struggle, and in Islam it is sometimes emphasized for fighting for the sake of God. Right? God says in the Quran 3:75, "Quote, and what is wrong with you?" that you fight not in the cause of Allah and for those weak, ill-treated and oppressed among men, women and children whose cry is quote, Our Lord, rescue us from this town whose people are oppressors and raise for us from you who, are, will, who will protect and raise for us from you who will help. 
And that's not code for killing those who don't want to pay the jizya after sacred months? Jihad is fighting against oppression and injustice, not killing innocent people, as a lot of people think. Can you be innocent and not be Muslim? God clearly says in the Quran, 1733, quote, And do not take any human being's life that God willed to be sacred, other than in the pursuit of justice. Hmm. What if they don't want to submit to Allah nor pay the jizya checks? Then what? Okay, uh, this is. I'm going to continue this in another video, so I'll end it right here. Bye.